Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Thursday. Welcome back. I hope your day's off to a great start. I am here with my trusty assistant, Alf, who has just settled into my lap. He's probably going to be taking a nap during this video, so if they're snoring, uh, please enjoy the free pug ASMR. Um, however, I have, I have kind of an interesting video for you guys today. <laughs> it's holiday related. That's right. Um, so I'm currently in the middle of uploading my fall 2023 Decorate With Me series here on my channel. And ironically, I am uploading a video uh, with Christmas candles as I am just decorating my house for fall. So here's the crazy thing. <laughs> uh, Kringle has decided to launch their holiday 2023 fragrances today at 9 a.m. on their website. And like probably most of you, I actually feel like this is very soon. This is very soon to be releasing holiday candles. I think most of us are just starting to get in the, into the swing of fall candles. But that being said, you don't have to purchase these today. Um, these are candles that are coming out for the holidays. So obviously, um, you know, they'll be around for a while. Um, personally, I am not going to be able to get around to doing post burn reviews probably until the middle of October is when I'll start releasing those. I just can't commit to burning holiday scents quite yet. Not like during the first full week of September. Um, that being said, I want to do some first impressions for those of you that are interested in purchasing the candles today. Um, so Kringle was kind enough to send me all six of the country candles as well as all six of the um, traditional Kringle candle jars. So we're doing those cold sniff first impressions in this video. Um, I do think that the most helpful reviews are definitely post burn reviews, which is why, you know, I would recommend maybe waiting until you start seeing some post burn reviews. But that being said, I know there are some people out there who are already super excited for the holidays and I get that. Like, don't get me wrong. The holidays are my hands down favorite time of the year. Um, but it just, it just seems very soon. <laughs> to be releasing holiday candles on September 7th. That being said, we we did just have Christmas in July, so it's not unheard of with companies releasing holiday scents um, during, you know, the middle of summer and also the beginning of fall. So this is just that Christmas creep that everybody talks about. And um, yeah, despite all that, I am definitely grateful to Kringle for sending out all six of the country as well as all six of the Kringle jars so that I could share these thoughts with you guys. Um, I did not pay for these candles. I am obviously an ambassador for Kringle. Um, so if you do want to purchase these, you can use my 15% ambassador code. I will put it in a little ticker down here. I will also put where you can purchase these candles in the description box. I'll put all the information down there for everything. So if you're interested, um, you can pick these up now or you can wait until October or November or whenever you purchase your holiday candles. So without further ado, I have fragrance notes on my phone. So we are going to, um, we are going to go ahead and just start grabbing candles and smelling them on cold sniff. Um, personally, I love having both cold sniff as well as post burn reviews because sometimes fragrances really transform once they're lit. And I think it's interesting to have both perspectives. So, um, yeah, without further ado, we're going to get started with the traditional Kringle candle jars. And I'm going to read you guys the fragrance notes. Um, I have not actually opened any of these. I haven't smelled any of these. So these are true first impressions. I have no idea what to expect. Um, I do know that one of my like favorites from Kringle is returning this year. And I'm so excited to smell it to see if it smells the same as last year's version, which I still have, um, I think either two or three backups of. So uh, I'm just so excited to have this sent back. But let's go ahead and kick it off with Father Christmas. And I think that this might be my favorite label out of all of um, the two wick Kringle jars in this particular style. So I'll go ahead and hold that up for you. You can see that it, it's 
just a picture of Santa but it's a very nostalgic picture of Santa and um, it has that neat almost kind of like canvas effect on the label and I really love when Kringle does this with their labels it just makes them look maybe a little bit more vintage and that's definitely a look that I prefer in my home. So um, having smelled none of these, I am dying to stick my nose in them. So let's get started with Father Christmas. Ooh, S slightly, I feel like this is coming off slightly smoky to my nose, but also it kind of smells like, like a leather couch. <laughs> this also smells leathery to me. This is really interesting. I don't know what I was expecting from Father Christmas, but this, this is not it. So let's read through these fragrance notes. Um, all right, so our top notes here are sparkling cloves, cinnamon sticks, and night blooming jasmine. The mid notes are red saffron, white leather, and tonka bean. The base is cedar wood and uh, vanilla, oh, and amber as well. So cedar wood, vanilla, and amber are the base notes. Okay, yeah, that leather for sure. I smell the cedar, that cedar wood note in here, but it smells slightly charred to my nose. Almost like um, the bourbon bonfire has that like hearth type note. I kind of pick a little bit of that up in here. So it's almost like the cedar wood is being burned in a fireplace, if that makes sense. I smell that clove. The cinnamon sticks are really nice. This is not an overly spicy scent at all, despite that clove and cinnamon stick. It's kind of just right. Mm, ah, as far as jasmine goes, I, I don't smell anything remotely floral in this, so I'm just gonna boot that jasmine out of here right now. White leather and tonka bean for sure. Honestly, that leather note, the more that I smell this, that leather comes out. And so my mom has leather couches at her house and this smells almost exactly like my mom's really nice leather couches. It's kind of a worn in leather smell. This reminds me of home, I kind of like that. <laughs> this one is, um, this one's really nice. It is not what I normally gravitate towards for holiday scents, but I'm really excited to light this one up because I think it would pair really nicely with maybe some other tree scents. Um, there's actually a spruce candle in the country candle line that I'm excited to smell and I think this might pair really nicely with that So we'll definitely smell them together, but this This is lovely again different, but really really nice if you're new here I do tend to prefer gourmand or fruity scents. Um, I typically don't go for a lot of um, like masculine type fragrances and this one leans just a little bit more masculine to my nose and I think that's mostly because of that slightly charred cedar wood note as well as the leather but overall I definitely give this one a thumbs up um, it smells quite strong on cold sniff as well so it's not getting two thumbs up because it's not a gourmand <laughs> but I do like it so one thumbs up for sure so I'm kind of just blindly grabbing these now okay I'm excited about this. this. This has to be a gourmand, right? Like this is Christmas cake pops. <laughs> Let me show you guys the label here. Very, very pretty. Um, you basically just have some cake pops here with some, you know, green and uh, red swirls as well as um, uh, a little snowflake on one of these. Uh, this again has kind of, I, it doesn't have the same um, like, texture look as the father christmas but this also looks maybe i guess i can see it yeah i can see a little bit of that almost like cross hatch that you get on like canvas this has a very similar effect to that but this one seems a little bit more vibrant i think that that's why i'm not noticing that cross hatch a little bit more but what's more important than the label is what it smells like right so let's smell it okay this is delicious, but it also kind of a little tiny bit reminds me of Cosmic Cupcake. I smell a good amount of lemon in here and it kind of almost smells like lemon pound cake more than anything else. So my cold sniff impression is lemon pound cake. Let's see what the actual notes are. Cake pops, where are you? Oh, you're at the top, okay. So our top notes here are sugared citrus, yeah, there we go, um, candied sprinkles, the mid notes are swirls of butter, 
Um, and the base is cake batter and vanilla frosting. It almost smells like a lemon pound cake to my nose. Very heavy on that like rich buttery note. Uh, like this is, this is kind of done perfectly. But also in a way it, it kind of almost reminds me of Cosmic Cupcake, which I loved. Um, oh, I like this a lot. I really like this a lot. You guys, this smells absolutely delicious, but I have to admit lemon pound cake doesn't really scream Christmas or holidays to me. I don't know. Do you guys eat lemon pound cake during the holidays? For me, lemon pound cake has always been like a spring summer type of dessert situation, but, but this is incredibly well done. This is so rich, so heavy on that butter note. Sweet but not overly sweet. Lemon pound cake. <laughs> I guess you can have lemon pound cake Christmas pops. I mean, you can make Christmas pops or cake pops out of any cake flavor. So um, yeah, anyway, two thumbs up for that one. It's a gourmand, it's automatically gonna <laughs> be in my wheelhouse. <gasps> crinkle cookie, all right. I love me some crinkle cookies. So there they are on the label. Now this label also has that kind of almost slight like crosshatch canvas type finish to it as well. Um, and it has the crinkle cookies and what looks like a spoonful of maybe like powdered sugar or something on there. But let's take a sniff here. Oh, chocolate. Yeah, this is very chocolatey. But I also smell some coffee in here. It's sweet. Um, I think it's actually very sweet. I'm wondering if some people are gonna think this is like overly sweet for them. It's not for me, but that is a really nice chocolate note that they use here. Okay, so crinkle cookies. Our top note is chocolate. There you have it. Um, the mid note is, oh, espresso. So I was uh, right on with that coffee note. Uh, so espresso liqueur, chocolate, and steamed milk. The base is cocoa, brown sugar, and cream. You know what's interesting is that this type, of, the sweetness that is used in here doesn't come across as brown sugar to my nose. It comes across as more traditional like white sugar. Um, brown sugar obviously has molasses in it and that molasses note I think is missing from here. I don't I don't smell that in here at all. It's more of just like the focus is on the chocolate and that espresso or like coffee type of cord for sure. I get a lot of creaminess out of this which I'm guessing could probably be that steamed milk note. this a lot this is delicious you guys this smells really good um yeah it's mostly chocolate creaminess espresso coffee whatever you want to say the coffee is not bitter so I'm um, I think the coffee is done quite well in here I'm hoping that it doesn't turn bitter when I light this sometimes when I pick up coffee candles on cold sniff, I like them a lot more than when I burn them. Some of that acidity from the coffee sometimes comes out during the burns. Um, so I'm hoping that this keeps that kind of more authentic coffee that isn't like overly bitter. But this is yummy and this one is absolutely getting two thumbs up. So we are, we're doing really good so far. I am pleased. All right, the next one. Okay, listen, root beer fans, I think that you have an option here for the holidays. This is called reindeer beer, and it obviously just has a mug of root beer on the front here. Um, nothing fancy. Oh yeah, this smells like A&W root beer. That's, that's what this is. It doesn't smell like cream soda. It's definitely root beer. Man, Stella's gonna love this. My kid loves root beer like you wouldn't believe. She's not allowed to have it very often. I don't let her have a ton of soda, but 
whenever she can have soda her choice is always root beer so i'm super excited for her to get home from school today and to smell this one because these have just they've literally been sitting by the front door in their package for like the last couple weeks waiting for me to film this video um man that's so authentic okay so our top notes here are fizzy root beer soda um mrs claus's whipped batter what is that <laughs> ginger molasses um the base is root chips and vanilla okay so if we're just going for like what this smells like it, it's a and w root beer that's what this smells like that is the root beer that craig buys and that is the root beer that stella loves and this is what i smell on her breath when she's allowed to have root beer personally i'm not a huge root beer fan but i do consider this really really authentic and those of you that love root beer, here you go. You might want to stock up on this one. I'm really impressed with how strong these are on cold sniff. I almost think these smell stronger on cold sniff than the spring summer candles did. So I'm a big fan of that. I hope that that also translates to the burn as well. All right, we're grabbing the second to last one here. This is probably, I think, my second favorite label, actually. This is Winter Woods. And this is just a beautiful, like, snowy, wintry scene, obviously, with a stag on the front there. And um, let's smell this one. Oh, okay. <laughs> we got a lot of mint here. Oh, and I smell, I smell, I smell eucalyptus. Oh. All right, so if you're new here, I'm a florist. I've worked with a lot of brides in my day and eucalyptus reminds me of work because every bride that I've ever had, maybe with the exception of two, have wanted eucalyptus as their choice of greenery in their wedding decor and I get it. It's It smells good, it's a beautiful sagey green, there are different leaf shapes to choose from. It's just a lovely plant, right? Um, but for me eucalyptus smells like work because when i smell eucalyptus i think oh it's time to go out to the studio and to work for 14 or 15 hours on a wedding order <laughs> four days in a row um yeah this smells like work to me so i'm i'm gonna say it right now i'm not a huge fan of this one but if you like mint and if you like eucalyptus you you're gonna be in love with this let me tell you do i smell anything else I kind of smell apple in here. I feel like there's got to be an apple note, right? All right, let's see. Where are you at, Winter Woods? Okay, our top notes are spearmint, eucalyptus, and peppermint. The mid notes are frosty aracord and apple. Okay, I was right. Um, the base is fir, amber, cedar, and musk. Apple for sure. It's a nice sweet apple note. Actually, I think the apple makes this a little bit more palatable to my nose. It sort of cuts that eucalyptus down just a touch, but it's but it's still quite eucalyptus-y. Spearmint, I think it actually smells more like spearmint than it does like peppermint. I'm getting way more spearmint. Uh, frosty air, uh, yeah, I mean, I think eucalyptus and spearmint combined just lend to that frosty air type note. Um, fur, cedar I don't know that I really smell the tree notes in here I don't even think that I get much in the way of amber you guys this is very heavy on those like mint notes specifically spearmint the eucalyptus and the apple it's very fresh listen if you love fresh holiday scents you're gonna love this one but this one is definitely the first one out of the six that I'm just like hmm I don't I don't love it I will review it because it is what I do but it's just not in my wheelhouse I guess you could say okay I'm excited about this one because it's pomegranate punch if there is one thing that I love to eat during the holidays um, besides cranberries it is pomegranates oh I love pomegranates especially when I can find them at Costco and they're in the little containers so that I don't have to mess with like scooping them out of the actual pomegranate man that is a pain in the butt but let's see what this smells like we do have what looks to be a beautiful glass of punch um, on the label here. We've got some fruit in that punch. Looks like we've got some star anise. 
We've got some hints here on what the fragrance notes might be for sure. Um, there's some citrus in this glass. There's an apple. It looks like there's a sprig of maybe rosemary. There's cranberries. So here is a look at that label and let's smell it. Oh, okay. Yeah, pomegranate. 100% pomegranate. It's there. It's almost kind of tangy which if there is cranberry in the fragrance notes i think that tang is probably coming from the cranberries oh this is sweet but it's not overly sweet this smells really fruity and kind of refreshing i would absolutely have some of this punch at christmas i'd probably put some vodka in it but that's delicious okay we got to read what these notes are I really like this one. I really like this one, you guys. Ooh, that's good. Okay. The top notes are pomegranate, cranberry, and apple. The mid notes are cinnamon, violet, and jasmine. Uh, no. <laughs> Not right now. I don't smell any violet or jasmine. And the base is cedarwood, musk, and vanilla. Okay, don't let the musk scare you off. It's there's no musk in here. I mean, it might be like a supporting fragrance, but it's you, this doesn't smell musky. It smells like a drink. It smells like a delicious punch. Oh man. Okay, yeah, cranberry for sure. It's that tart tangy cranberry note and then a really nice sweet apple as well. This is predominantly those top notes. Um pomegranate, cranberry and apple. If you like any of those fragrance notes uh, or you like them all together, I think you're going to be a fan of this one. I don't pick up the cedar wood. Cinnamon? Not really on cold sniff, which is strange because usually cinnamon is quite potent and it will come through on cold sniff, but not, not in this one. I think some cinnamon would be good in here, so I do hope it comes out when it is burning. But violet and jasmine, nope. Cedar wood, no. Vanilla. This doesn't smell creamy to me. It just, it just smells like a delicious pomegranate drink. I really like this. Okay, so out of the six, the only one that is a little iffy for me is the Winter Woods, which is kind of a bummer because I actually love this label. Um, but I think all the labels are really kind of fun on these. Um, let us move on to the Country Candle and um, hold on one second. All right, sorry about that. I just know my camera's gonna cut me off because I've been talking for a long time, so it's just better to like, this is easier for me for editing purposes. All right, so we're gonna get started with country candle jars now, and I do have all six of these as well. This is white chocolate cheesecake. I'm a little nervous about this because typically white chocolate isn't my favorite. I prefer um, like a dark chocolate smell over even a milk or a white chocolate, um, but I do love cheesecake. I'm a huge cheesecake fan, so let's see what we have here. Ooh, okay. It's definitely cheesecake. There is a little bit of an almond note that's coming through for me. Not almond extract, but like an almond paste type note. There is a nice creamy cheesecake note as well. I'm not smelling any crust, like the cheesecake crust. I'm not smelling that. And I really, do, I would not think of this as being white chocolate. It just, it doesn't smell like that typical white chocolate to me. I think it's coming across more as like that almond paste note. That's so interesting, but let's read the fragrance notes. All right, country candle. White chocolate cheesecake. So the top notes are oats and rich cream. Okay, rich cream, yes, but oats, that is out of left field. I don't smell oats. The mid notes are cream and cardamom, and the base is vanilla bean and spice. Okay, so there is no like white chocolate listed. I, I don't smell that white chocolate note at all. So it's not in here, but I, I certainly do not smell oats. I smell for sure that rich creaminess from the cheesecake. Um, I smell, I, s you guys, it, it smells like almond paste. Not like heavy on the almond paste, 
Um, you definitely get more of like that rich cream, like the actual cheesecake filling type note. I feel like that's the bulk of what this is. Definitely some vanilla bean in here for sure. Just a touch of a spice, maybe like a little hint of like a nutmeg, a tiny dash of cinnamon, and I'm talking like the smallest amount. This is not what I would call a spicy scent at all. It's really much more rich and creamy. It is delicious. And I'm so glad it doesn't smell like white chocolate. I am, I love this. Yep, we have a winner. Okay, so we already have a winner to begin with. Oh, okay. I'm so excited to stick my nose in this. So this is wishing for Christmas. Like I have to do it. Oh yeah, it's back. <laughs> okay. So last year, Christmas, um, Christmas Kringle put out some, um, mercury glass jars. And one of the fragrances was wishing, wishing for Christmas. And I fell in love. I absolutely fell in love. And I purchased multiples. Like, I think I probably have like four left from last year and I think I went through at least three last holiday season. I cannot tell you how incredible this fragrance is. It, it smells, let's just talk fragrance notes right away. Um, okay, the, uh, the fragrance notes, they're pretty simple on this one. The top is Christmas cookies, the mid is fresh pine, and the base is vanilla and sugar cane. What does this smell like? It smells like really beautiful, rich, sweet, buttery um, sugar cookies with just the smallest hint of like holiday tree, which is where that pine comes in, in the background. It's so, it's so delicious smelling, you guys. And this one, when it is lit, it just, it becomes even more warm and cozy and comforting and inviting and delicious. I cannot say enough about this scent and I am so glad they decided to bring it back. Um, I think it's interesting that they brought it back in the country candle line, um, being that it was in this style of jar, but with like a mercury glass finish before. Um, it just was like pure perfection. Oh, so good. I am so excited about this one. I just cannot tell you enough. Although I will say, um, whoopsie doodles. It looks like this one, um, they're the fragrance oils. Can you see them on this? Yes, you can. You see those on the side there? Well, there's a little bit on the lid and I set the lid on my pants and now there's a red stain on my pants <laughs> from the dye. It's fine. I'm sure I can get it out, but, um, yeah, be careful with this one. It looks like it maybe got a little juicy in transit. Um, but I could not be more pleased about this one returning. I will be going through more of these this holiday season. So it's, it's an automatic purchase for me. I'm just going to have to get more of that. So two winners. We're starting with the winners. Let's go with tis the season next. Ooh, okay. This one is not juice. Well, n yeah, I can see some of the oils on the side here, but I'll have you take a look at that just really quickly there. And then here is the label. It has a really sweet label. I do, I do like this label a lot. Um, this does not smell like a holiday scent to me at all. Okay, this is gonna sound like a weird phrase for those of you that haven't ever really viewed my videos before, but this to me smells like a fancy lady bathroom cleaner. And what I mean by that is the fragrance notes in here smell like they belong in a cleaning product to my nose. I, I don't know why this happens for me with some fragrances, but they just smell like cleaning products. Like if this was a fragrance in a cleaning product that I was using in my bathroom, I would probably really enjoy that, but I would not want my home to smell like a cleaning product. And, um, you know, just to be like funny about it, I call it fancy lady bathroom smell. Um, all right, what are the notes here? Uh, Tis the season, snow-kissed bergamot, blue lavender sprigs. Yeah, man, I think it's the lavender. Um, and a sprinkle of nutmeg. The mid notes are bright acorn lights, whatever that is cardamom and fir balsam the base is vanilla bean snowflakes frosted cedar and glowing amber 
Okay, what I think the problem here for me is with this one is that bergamot as well as the lavender, those two tend to just lean more cleaning products. Cleaning product smelly to my nose, I guess you could say. If you like fresher scents, if you like lavender, if you like bergamot, I think you're really going to enjoy this one, but this is one I, I would have to burn this in my bathroom. I, I would not want this burning in other areas of my house. So this might be my holiday bathroom candle for the master bathroom this year. Um, I do put candles around our bathtub upstairs and you know sometimes if I'm doing like a spa day or whatever I will light those. So um, yeah and this just it doesn't really scream holiday fragrance to me. This one does not at all. So that being said, it is a pretty shade of blue. It does have a cute label. And if you like lavender, I think you're really going to enjoy this one. But in terms of do I love it? I, I don't love it. I don't. Sorry. But I do hope that I love this because one, the color of this wax is, this is one of my favorite colors in the whole world. It's kind of like a cornflower blue. Oh, it's just so pretty. Also, take a look at this label. Kind of simple, but pretty, right? Um, I'm noticing that all of these country candles have a little bit of the fragrance oils around the edge of the jar. So I wonder why that's happening with the soy formula in these jars, but it doesn't happen with the these these crinkle jars. These never have any type of like leakage from the wax, but these do, which I find interesting because they're both soy. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I love it. I love it. This smells like spruce. This is that classic holiday tree note. It's a little astringent on cold sniff, but I think this one is going to warm up a lot when it's lit, and I think that slight astringent note is gonna go away. There's, so it's mostly spruce for sure, but I smell some pine in here as well. There's gotta be pine in here. Where's my phone? <laughs> now I have to look this up. Siberian pine and Douglas fir are the top notes. Blue spruce is the mid notes and the bottom is fresh pine needles and warm winter woods. Yeah, pine for sure. There's it's quite a bit of pine actually. The more I smell it, the more, the more it leans 50-50 spruce and pine. But this, this smells like like a freshly cut down tree. Um, it doesn't have any type of like smokiness to it. It really doesn't smell like a super outdoorsy. It's like you're just bringing the, the fresh tree into your home type of smell. You almost get a little bit of that sweetness from like the sap in here as well. Ooh, I like this. I like this a lot and I'm so glad that I do because I love the color of it. I mean, this doesn't like, this isn't like a traditional holiday color, at least for me personally, but oh man, I love this color. I'm so excited to burn that one. All right, here we have Holly Berry. Now this one is the juiciest because it even has some of the wax like on the actual inside of the lid there. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I feel like I have to clean this one up. I think I'm gonna clean all of these up, but I did want you guys to see how they actually arrived to me. Um, but here is, oh, I just got a whiff of it. That smells good. <laughs> here is the label, just a sweet little bird sitting on a holly berry stem. So not gonna put that on my pants because that's gonna turn them green next. Oh, this is kind of like a sweet, this is a sweeter holly scent. I like this. Okay, what are our fragrance notes here? There is a little bit of fruitiness to it. And I just took a look at the top notes and these make sense. Wild raspberry, green leaves, and strawberry swirl. I feel like that doesn't belong in a holiday scent, but it kind of works in here. It's interesting how that works. I definitely pick up raspberry and I pick up strawberry. But it's more of like a green strawberry and like a greener raspberry note. I think that that green leaves note is what is giving it more of like that 
super fresh out in the wild, like you're picking wild strawberries, wild raspberries type of situation. That's really interesting, but I smell that fruitiness for sure. So our mid notes here are fresh pine and forest berries. Definitely smell pine, but it's, it's behind those fruity notes for sure. Or I guess I could say berry, the raspberries and strawberries. Cedar, glowing amber, and musk is the base. It's not musky, so that musk is playing a supporting role. I don't really get much amber. I do pick up the cedar for sure, but it it really does smell like like the a lot of those like traditional holly berry type notes, with the addition of the berries, that fresh green like leafy type note. Sorry about the curtains off to the side. It's it's a nice breezy uh, early fall day here. Ooh, okay. I like this one. It's sweet. Like it's it it definitely has some sweetness to it, and as well as some touches of green. Where did I put that lid? Um, I like it. It's 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 a one thumbs up. I don't think it's a two thumbs up for me, but I do really like this. And then the very last one is peppermint and cocoa. I feel like this is just going to smell like a peppermint hot chocolate. I feel like there's not going to be much else to this, but let's see. Is this the only one that doesn't, this is the only one, you guys, this is the only jar. Actually, I lied. The cheesecake does not have any of that juiciness and the rest of them do. Yeah, but this one does not. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. It's peppermint hot chocolate. It is peppermint, like a peppermint stick in a cup of hot chocolate. The hot chocolate is really nice and rich smelling. Like it doesn't smell like a packet of like Swiss Miss, which, ooh. Any, any hot chocolate that is made with water is just so gross to me. Like I think hot chocolate should be made with milk. <laughs> What do you think? Do you think it should be made with milk or water? All right, our top notes here are crushed peppermint and chocolate morsels. The mid notes are praline cream and vanilla bean, and the base is minted woods whipped cream and musk. Yeah, I mean, for sure the peppermint, for sure the chocolate. Praline, not so much. Vanilla, I can see some vanilla. I think the vanilla here is coming across as like that milky creamy note. Um, minted woods i don't know whipped cream yeah yeah it, it's, it's a very creamy hot chocolate for sure musk i think the musk is once again playing a supporting role but if you have ever had a peppermint hot chocolate at starbucks or you've made it at home this is what this smells like but rich and creamy not cheap and watered down <laughs> this is better than a swiss miss hot chocolate for sure it's quite pepperminty Stella, once again, my kid loves peppermint hot chocolate at the holidays. Um, whenever we pass a Starbucks, like, she is all over that. Um, so I know she's going to love this one. I think it might be kind of fun to have Stella give me, like, her descriptions and maybe share those in the video. If you're new, my daughter is 11 and she enjoys home fragrance just as much as I do. So sometimes kind of fun to, like, get her take on these as well. Um, so we've got some definite winners here. I think the only one that is the miss for me is the tis the season um, but that's just a personal preference type situation also these are going to be available in the three wicks for the traditional candle jars so um they also sent the three wicks as well so this is the label for the christmas cake pops which is so cute it's just cake pops so so sweet i love the label on this one this is christmas sorry not christmas kringle cookies crinkle crinkle cookies this has a kind of like geometric what do you call this pattern is this like an an og pattern i can't remember what it's called but anyway it has a really nice kind of simple pattern on it not particularly a holiday vibe on this one but this one might be great to save for after the holidays like that crinkle cookie i would totally burn into uh january and february for sure this one here is the reindeer beer which has cute little reindeers um you know just jumping across the label here and ooh, that is potent that is 
That is root beer. <laughs> it's A and W root beer. All right, the label for Winter Woods. Um, oh no, is this one cracked? No, it's not. Weird. What is that? Oh, it's just the label. The label got kind of funky on this one on the side here, but um, yeah, it's it's not actually cracked. No, that's not cracked. Um, oh, it's just so minty and eucalyptusy. <laughs> So there we go. That's the label for that. And then here is the label for pomegranate punch, which is just snowflakes. Nice and simple. Oh man, that one is so good. <laughs> this one is incredible. You have to try pomegranate punch. I don't care if you try it in the daylights or the wax melts. Um, you have to try pomegranate punch. That is delicious, especially if you like fruity scents. So that's it you guys those are my first sniff impressions of the six new fragrances for kringle and for country um let me know what you're most excited about let me know when you are actually ready to begin uh purchasing home fragrance for the holidays i'm definitely curious your guys's take on that for me once we get into the middle of October, I really start getting into holiday mode because my birthday is in the beginning of November. And traditionally, I have always switched over from fall to the holidays right after my birthday because the amount of decor that I put up, it just takes a lot of effort. And um, yeah, I'm not just gonna have that up for a month. I'd like to be able to enjoy it hopefully for two months. So yeah, I'm one of those annoying people that decorates early, but you know what, it makes me happy. It's my thing and um, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> if it makes me happy and it doesn't hurt anybody else, I'm totally gonna do it and it makes my family laugh at me and um, that's fine, they can laugh at my expense. <laughs> my house looks pretty and fun for two months while they usually only get to enjoy a month of it so anyway you guys let me know down below when you start decorating for the holidays when you start getting ready when you start getting ready for the holiday smells let me know what you're most interested in picking up from the holiday releases from Kringle this year and stay tuned for post burn reviews beginning in mid-October and if you're interested in purchasing these they are available today um link is in the description as well as a discount code if you are interested in picking them up so all right uh happy shopping if you choose to partake toodaloo guys